How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Adventure Quest video and for today we are actually going to be taking a little break from the Beastmaster Warrior slash Nostalgia Quest series. Instead we are going to be talking about the Golden Gift Fox Extravaganza once again. That's right guys. Okay, I didn't want to make uh wait another week before I uh, covered the item so I'm going to talk about them uh right now and you guys can stay tuned to the next episode of the uh, Nostalgia Quest series on Thursday, okay? So today, let us first talk about Exalted Unity. So it is finally inside of the Golden Gift Foxes. It wasn't released yet when I made the video on Sunday, but now it is out, okay? So it is an, uh, is inside the Ultra Rare Golden Gift Box shop. So let us first take a look at it. I'm sure, uh, Dragon Faber players are no stranger to the artwork. And yeah, that looks absolutely amazing, okay? The, the staff did say that there are three different uh tiers or modes to it, okay? And I don't know if we'll see more of it in the future, but uh, I'm hoping we do, okay? So Exalted Unity Ultra Rare is a Mastercraft light sword. Click the blade to swap between melee range and magic mode. Gains four charges per turn or three in magic mode. Click the hilt to spend charges. Okay, 27 charges. The weapon becomes auto hit for one turn. Uh, For an... Okay, and then the second effect is for 27 charges, you can empower the weapon light plus dark plus 33.3% damage. And the last effect is for 40 charges, you can imbue it with darkness for one turn. You can also focus to gain 80 charges. Okay, 60 in magic mode. Uh, 84 over 63 with the passive bonus. Okay, and it has different forms based on its charges. 200, uh, it has a max of 200 charges. Okay, so you can store up to 200 charges in the weapon at any one time. And I think we will actually be getting this. Okay, on top of that, there is also two other items that I want to get from the Ultra Rare shop. There is one, uh, firstly, the Baby Eternal Dragon of Time. I'm not entirely sure if the staff has already changed the stun rate on this. It's supposed to be a little bit higher. Okay, and it's supposed to be, uh, the same stun rate as Diamond Dog. And that will make it better than Diamond Dog because it has a second effect apart from the uh, paralyzed effect or stun effect, okay? So right now, it is still a slightly lower. I think I honestly don't know if the staff has fixed it yet, but I believe it will be fixed eventually and I really want to get this not only for the effect, but also for the fantastic hour. And the last item I really want to get is last, okay? Simply because this pet, oh my gosh, I think a lot of people have been uh, underestimating it, myself included. Now, the main reason why I did not think this was that great was because... This pet had two effects, okay? And we are really only for, like, the only effect that is good is the hypercritical effect, which is the, uh, the one that makes your lucky strikes hit more often. The healing effect is not so great. And that was why I, uh, my reasoning or my thinking behind it being not so good was that I'm buying a pet that has two effects, but only one effect is actually useful. So is it really worth the ultra rare to go ahead and get this pet? And the answer is yes, because the second effect is really, really, very good. Again, I do not know if they will change the pet in the future, okay, especially the healing part because many people were saying they would rather see backlash inside of the pet, so uh, we still don't know if they will change it. But right now, the hypercritical effect is actually very good, especially if you pair it with some uh, items that boost your lucky strike rate or lucky uh, strike damage as well. And I will throw up a few clips on the screen right now, okay. These clips are by Lupao Lunatic, okay, from the Discord, okay. This is uh not my account at all. This is all his account, and he's actually showcasing all the different combinations that you can go ahead and do with the uh pet here. And you can see he's putting up really really amazing damage. That being said, uh most of the my my build right now is currently a beast master, so maybe I don't really have uh the correct stats to go ahead and do all the stuff that he's currently doing right now. But you know, for those of you guys who are playing like a mage build or pure warrior build, you know stuff like that, you guys can go ahead and try out the strategies that he has shown here. Uh, he did use one perma rare item that is the fest uh the festive leprechaun armor. I I do not know if I actually have it. Let me go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, I believe it was from one of the go uh gift deliver one of the gift delivery items. I don't know if I actually still have it. I don't even know what element it uh currently is. Oh, actually I do have it. Festive leprechaun right here. Okay, so I do have it. This is from one of the past years. Uh, 
give delivery rewards okay so if you guys can have this you guys can go ahead and try out the strategy that he has shown here as well once again huge shout out to him okay he is a member on the Gox Heaven Discord. I will link the Discord down in the description below. And uh, inside of the Discord, you can find many other like-minded uh, AQ players and in fact players for many other games as well. They have uh, tabs for uh, AE games in general, they have tabs for AQ Wars and they have tabs for uh, Zard Wars as well, okay? So if you guys play any of those games, you guys can go ahead and join the Discord, hang out there, have a good time and you know, chat with other players and of course uh many of the players there are much much more experienced than me like Lupa Lunatic he was also the one who pointed out uh who basically taught everyone how to do the browser trick that I showcased in how to play Adventure Quest in 2021 you guys can look check out the video uh right here that I made okay that uh browser trick was actually by him okay it was not by me and apart from him like I said, there's a lot of other fantastic players out there who comes out with all sorts of crazy, insane strategies that I would never even have thought of. So you guys should definitely go there and check out the Discord, okay? So enough of that. Now, I believe this is the part that you guys really want to see after looking at the title, and that is the massive Golden Gift Box opening spree that we are going to do right now. So I have 6.7k uh, tokens. I do not know if it is enough, and there isn't really any discount going on right now, so... This is not the ideal way to spend your tokens. The ideal way is to wait for Black Friday when the gift boxes are half off and then you can just buy a huge ton of them and save them up. Okay, I did not actually buy any during Black Friday so right now I'm going to, have to buy them at the full price. Okay, so let's hope we have enough uh, tokens to... enough boxes to, uh, you know, actually get 3 ultra rares. But I highly doubt it, okay, uh, given the chances. Okay, but let us try anyways. So let's get 10 for 2,000 tokens, 10 golden gift boxes, let's go. And I am prepared to buy more tokens, that's right guys. You guys voted, and the vote was a tie for Shogun and Natsu and also Una Poka Di Gracia spell. So if we run out of tokens here, oh my freaking god, oh god guys, are you kidding me? Well, thank you, thank you AQ, finally. <laughs> My wallet is saved. Wow. Okay, this video was not cut in any way whatsoever. Oh my gosh, guys. Do you see that insane luck? First freaking box ultra rare. That's right, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Alright, okay. So the first thing I really want to get, I believe I want to get the last pet first. That's really my number one priority because of how good it is. Oh my gosh. First box, guys. Wow, this this is some great luck. Alright, let's continue and hope we have more of such fantastic luck. Wow. Man, great start already. Great, great start. Okay, I definitely was not expecting that. My luck with gift boxes have been really poor. So this is a very nice and welcome change. Thank you, AQ. But I hope that doesn't mean that I'm not going to see another one for the next like 100 boxes or something like that. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, there have been quite a few number of complaints about people saying how rotten their luck with the gift boxes are. I do not know exactly what's the drop rate. I believe it's like 3 or 5% for the ultra rare box. But uh, please, staff, if you're watching this, if you're listening, increase the drop rate for ultra rares. Come on, man. Your players are already spending so much money. Please, you know, just help them out here. Increasing it to like 10% or something isn't too ridiculous or guaranteed. Guarantee one ultra rare gift box out of like every, okay, maybe not 10. Okay, maybe one ultra rare box out of uh, every 20 boxes they open. Guarantee at least one. You know, that at least they'll make it such that, you know, people don't feel so cheated when they are, you know, opening gift boxes. Of course, golden gift box in this game is equivalent to, uh, gacha, uh, your gacha items in, uh, any sort of other RPG games that you guys play. So yeah, hoping that they increase the chances. We did get quite a few rares, so that is actually quite nice as well. Wow, this is a pretty good batch of uh, 10 gift boxes if I don't say so myself. Alright, so no ultra rare. Looks like we have to buy another set of 10, so we need two more to go. Alright, as long as I get one in every 10, wow, I, I am already a happy man. Okay, uh, common, nope. I'm actually not keeping track of any other than the ultra rares, but I think that first batch we did pretty well. We got quite a few rares, we got an ultra rare, but uh, most of it is still commons. But you know, very very satisfied with the first batch of boxes. If every batch of golden gift boxes were like that, man, uh, I am a happy man. Okay, so so far we only got common for this batch, not that lucky right now. 
Please, come on, don't tell me my luck is already out so soon. Another common. Let's go, let's go, come on. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, what is this insane luck, guys? Oh my gosh, what is this insane luck? Yes, yes, yes. This is what I am talking about. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh man, wow. I swear. <laughs> I am on a roll today. This is a, this is a fantastic day for me to be rolling the gift boxes. Yep, definitely make the, the right choice to buy the gift boxes right now. Okay, one last one. Just one more. One more ultra red, please. One more, and I am a happy man. Very, very happy. Okay, I think we probably have enough rares to convert to an ultra rare anyways, but please, give me one more ultra rare. Come on, let's let's push our luck here. Let's see. Come on, wow, one in... <laughs> okay, so I got one in ten so far, which is very, very good odds. Very good. Wow. Nice. Common again, and I just showered, but it feels so hot here. Okay, I'm gonna turn... Turn up my aircon so that I I stopped sweating. I just finished working out. That's why and I immediately rushed here to make the video for you guys. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. One out of ten so far. Wow, very good luck. Okay, looks like we have to buy another batch of ten. Let's see here. Probably could have just converted, but you know I'm kinda of, kinda of lazy. Let's see if we can get it. Please, one more ultra rare. Oh my gosh. I, I am so happy today. Wow. 2 in 20 boxes, that is super duper lucky. Can we get one more in this batch of 10? Please. One more in this batch of 10. Man, that will really make my day. That will really, really make my day. <laughs> Guys, this is some crazy luck right here. Okay. Let's see. Common again. Okay, this batch isn't looking too promising. We've got 5 common so far. Come on, come on. Ultra rare. Common again, okay. Ultra rare, please. Ultra rare, or at least a rare, you know. At least give me a rare. Come on, common again. Ooh. Okay, oh no, did the luck really run out? Come on, please. Don't let me down. Holy. <laughs> I want to swear, but you know, this is a family friendly channel. I don't swear on this channel. Oh my god. 3 in 30 boxes. Holy crap, guys. This is insane luck. What did I do to deserve this? Oh my gosh. Wow, I... I <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Thank you. Thank you so much, AQ staff. Finally, my prayers have been answered. Thank you so much, man. I, I am so happy. Let's finish up the other two. 3 in 30, oh my gosh, 1 for every batch of 10 boxes. This is the luckiest gift box opening ever. Top that, man. Top that. Try and top that. 1 in every 10. Oh my god. If someone is keeping track, please let me know how many rare boxes I have as well. Okay, uh, out of 30. Okay, I got 3 ultra rares in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow. Okay, let, let us showcase the items, guys. Man, thank you, AQ staff. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, I, I will still have to buy the tokens at some point of time simply because, uh, I am completely dry right now. And I, somebody actually told me, uh, in the comments of my previous video that there will be another cross game, uh, gift box event somewhere in April or May. Okay, I actually was not aware of that, but uh, if what that person said was true, then yeah, we're going to be needing more tokens, and I think now would be a good time to get them simply because of the 25% uh, extra tokens that I'm going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the packages, okay. Mm, right now, I'm still on the fence if I should buy one or two packages, but you know what? I'm so happy today. This is such a great, great day. You know what? I am going to buy both the packages, both Shogun and Natsu contract and the Una Poka spell as well. This is a fantastic day, guys. I am so happy with this. Wow. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. The best luck I've had in my years of opening golden gift boxes and you probably accumulated all the bad luck and you know, uh, toss all the good luck right into this opening, uh, this opening right here. Man, 
Let me know down in the comments below what is your luckiest gift box opening, guys. I really want to know. This is amazing, guys. Wow. Okay, here's to wishing every single one of you guys good luck for your gift box opening as well. Hope you guys have as uh, good of a luck as I did. And if you did, then congrats to you guys. Okay. Alright, let's check out the items. Okay, Lust will probably replace the Fire Pet. And uh, the Eternal Dragon of Time will definitely replace the Stunning Diamond Dog. As for the Exalted Unity, I'm still a little bit on the fence whether or not I want... Uh, to use it or not. Okay, so we'll hide the shield as well. No, we, we'll just hide the shield here. Don't need that. Okay, look at this. This is freaking gorgeous. Let's click on it. Magic. Range. Melee. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem any different. Yeah, I don't see any difference. Okay, so no changes. Ooh. Okay, and let's, let's see the normal. I don't think there's a special for this weapon. Yeah, I don't think there's a special for this weapon. Okay, so now we should have 8 charges, right? Yep, let's charge. 80 charges. Oh my. What? Ah, oh, now that's what they mean by 3 freaking tears. The more you charge it, the more freaking amazing this weapon looks. Holy crap. Maximum is 200 charges guys and this is how the final form looks like. This is Exalted Apotheosis, I believe. Wow, freaking amazing guys. Let's do... Uh, auto hit. Oh, it's a quick cast. Okay. Light and Darkness attack. Let's do that. Uh, let's do Imbue. And yeah, let's go. Attack. Nice. Okay, Uh, 1.33 for... The imbue. Okay, let's click on it again. Let's. Okay, I believe if you go above 100 charges, that's already what it looks like. Auto hit. Let's do empower. Let's do imbue. Ah, okay. 1.33 for one round and infuse with darkness. Okay, nice. So this is how it looks like if I charge 100. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's the three tiers here because this looks like two tiers. Am I missing out some small details that I'm not paying? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, this is the second tier. Yep, there's three tiers. Okay, this is the second tier here. This is probably Penultima, if I'm not wrong. Exalted Penultima. The final form is Exalted Apotheosis and the base form is Exalted Unity. Very fantastic, amazing looking weapon. Honestly, I almost just want to use this for the artwork itself, but... Uh, let me know down in the comments below, guys. Uh, do you think I... Oh, one more question I have. Do the charges actually carry over between battles? Hold on. Okay, the imbue is actually not bad. Okay, let's talk about it, uh, practicality-wise, since I've been just gushing over the artwork constantly. Oh, okay, looks like the charges carry over between battles. That's great, but it's not like you can actually, you know, uh, it's not anything game-breaking because you can only have a maximum of 200 charges, okay? Auto hit is very nice and it doesn't take any damage penalty as far as I know. Let, let me just double check here. Yeah, it doesn't take any damage penalty for that, so that's good, okay? Uh, empower for extra 33% damage and you can imbue it uh, to do darkness damage. So this is sort of like a compression weapon almost. If you have the charges, okay? So that is actually really nice. Wow. Uh... This one, extra 33% damage. I don't know how I feel about this, okay? Auto hit is great at all, and 33% damage is great at all. I think I might replace Zabura's hammer with this. Yeah, I think I might, because auto hit, extra 33% damage for literally a free cost. Why the heck not? And if you attack, you're still getting 4 charges. You're still getting 4 charges, even uh, if you attack and even if you use up the skills. So that is great. And, you know, gaining 80 charges... Uh, by just clicking on this charge is very very convenient which means you only have to spend 3 turns to fully charge up the weapon 2 turns if you attack uh, if you use the weapon for regular attacks outside of the charging mode and uh, that won't take very long because 100, 200 minus 160 you only have to gain 4 charges so another 10 more turns of regular attacking in this weapon and you'll be able to fully charge it up already that being said you don't even need to fully charge it up most of these aren't super expensive 27 is very cheap 
uh, you'll most likely be using auto hit and power unless you want to use this as your darkness weapon as well then you'll be using imbue other than that you'll be using this tool which is like 54 charges per turn if you include the attack into the equation that means uh, you're spending 50 charges per turn which uh, will last you four turns and that is usually more than enough to finish off the battle so a uh, very very fantastic weapon not just in terms of artwork but in terms of practicality effect it's not anything overpowered but at the same time it is not weak either so i would say this is a very good weapon in fact i am probably going to replace Sabora's hammer with this yep i am and now let us check out the pet which is the baby eternal dragon of time all right so let's bring out the pet Ooh, look at the entrance nice very nice uh, temporarily age of foe. Okay, so right now the baby dragon of time should be doing the. What heck is it doing? Okay, three hits. Now it should be doing chrono lock, which is the paralysis, right? Yeah, this should be the paralysis effect. Okay, it's slightly weaker than the diamond dog one, but okay, locked in time. Let's see. Ooh, nice. The animations on this are just beautiful, by the way. So, yeah, I'll totally use this for the artwork as well. Okay, that's great. This is not a damage pet, so I'm not going to bother boosting. Okay, actually, I will. Because uh, if you boost it, I believe it has a higher chance to inflict the status. So, let's go ahead and boost it. Weapons, I'm going to switch to something else instead. Let's do Foam Finger. Hyper Chill for the pet. Okay, let's do that. Let's do Crack Tournament as well. And Armor, let's do Battle of War 2. Okay, Skills, let's do Inspire Pet. And yep, let's go ahead. Let's see what we have right here. 1, 2, 3. Okay, nice. Uh, it did manage to paralyze. That's very good. Damage-wise, hmm. Damage wise is decent. It's not too bad. It's not the strongest damage dealing pet. This is obviously not a damage pet, but yeah, still pretty good. Now let us do the aging. Okay, chrono lock. Let's see what it can do here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, animation is still the same. Oh, okay, the choking actually stacks. I've not seen the paralyzed stack yet. Let's see here. Yeah, it stacks. Wow. 0 0.13. 0 0.565. Uh, okay, so letting attack more than once per turn is not such a great idea. Okay, let's let it stack up to 0 0.565. So yeah, it doesn't go anywhere beyond that. Yeah, so letting it attack once is better. Because if it attacks twice, it goes to 0 0.13, which is weaker than 0 0.565. Right? Am I right to say that? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Reduce effectiveness to... Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. No, 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 I was wrong, sorry, I was wrong. Uh, please ignore whatever I said earlier. So yeah, letting it attack twice is better. Effectiveness of the monster, instead of to 56%, is to 13% instead. So this is... Uh, so yeah, definitely let it attack more, that will be way better. Yep, I was wrong. Please ignore what I said earlier. Yeah, this is a fantastic pack. Great animation. Uh, all around pretty good effect. The choking is not bad. The stunning, like I said, could be boosted a little bit more. Okay, but it's just bug currently. Now, let us check out last. That's right, guys. Oh my gosh. Increasing your lucky shot rate by 35% on fire attacks. Keep in mind, this is for uh, fire attacks only. So, it doesn't affect any other things other than uh, fire attack. Okay. And while it's doing this, it's actually not attacking, which is totally fine. Okay, uh, now. How do I click on her? Seduce my foe and reduce their healing power. Okay. So this, uh, combat practice trainer doesn't heal at all, but let's just see. 187. Ooh. 175. Wow, pretty good damage. Okay, pretty good damage. Let's do. No, I, I'm going to kill the monster right here. So let's flee. Okay, let's see how much damage she does. She isn't a damage pet either, right? Plus, uh, monster can resist with a save. 
Charisma luck, blah blah blah. Okay. Blood of War. Let's get started. Hyper Chill for the pet. Let's do Arya's Rattle. Let's see how much damage she can really do. Okay, I'm missing the Una Poka buff, but that's fine. 329. Wow. 142. Okay, uh, the damage buff isn't that obvious. Yeah, okay, the, the buff isn't, the damage buff isn't that great, but. And you don't really see a status pop up here, okay? Interesting. Let me just take a look at the. Oh, so it's until the start of the pet's next turn. Alright. And for some reason, the status effect doesn't show up here. Since this is a new effect, maybe the staff needs time to code. I don't know. Or it's just meant to be hidden. 35% more lucky strikes on fire attacks. Okay. Let's go. Did it get nerfed? Did it get nerfed? Okay, right here on the uh, Discord info subs, it's telling me it's 40%. I don't know if they nerfed it by 5% or something like that because it was too crazy. But yeah, you can see here, Lucky Shot, Lucky Shot, very good. Very, very good, okay. Uh, it doesn't show the effect on here either, I guess it's just a passive effect. Let's see, if I do Essence Orb, then I do the Arms of the, the Dragon Guard Invocation spell, it's basically 100% chance to crit. If you're using a Fire Attack, and if I do it with... uh. No, okay, I don't have the Blazing Blood Circle in me right now, but this one, if you guys seen the clip from Lupa Lunatic earlier, you would know that this is amazing. And this is actually, uh, he also told me that this is actually slightly more consistent, uh, in terms of damage, more damage as compared to having a Ramsey pet because of the extra boosted Lucky Shot. This is if you are using fire attacks only, but, it is uh, slightly more damage than Ramsey overall. So it means that you don't have to spend $50 to get Ramsey right now. Okay, you can, if you are lucky like me, you got the ultra rare gift box, then, you know, you can just use this pet and this will be better than Ramsey. Of course, you still need the Ramsey guess if you uh, really, really want to maximize your fire damage to the fullest. But other than that, you can use Dunamis or Thunder or whatever uh, it is that you're using right now. You can even use it for majors like, he showcased in the clip earlier. So yeah, that is going to basically do it for this video. Wow, guys. This is a fantastic day and must say this is the best luck I've had ever since Golden Gift Foxes ever came to the game. Thank you very much, AQ staff. My prayers have been answered. One ultra rare out of every 10 boxes. This is amazing luck, guys. We got all three ultra rare items that we needed in this episode, and we didn't have to buy the token package yet. But you know, because you guys voted, and because it happens to be a tie, once again, I did not know how you guys do it. But you know, I, I did not promise to get the package. I only said, I was only asking if I were to get a package, which one would you guys prefer, but you know, since you guys voted and it happened to be a tie, you know what, I will get both packages and you guys will probably see me with a huge influx of tokens in the next episode to prepare for the opening uh, in April or May if the crossover event comes over once again. Or not, we will save it until uh, Black Friday this year, in which case we will be doing another massive opening then. Okay, not because there will be any great items released. Maybe there might be, who knows. But uh, because that will be the best time to stock up on Golden Gift Foxes. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, huge shout out to Lupa Lunatic for uh, providing with, uh, me with all the clips for telling me about uh, how great Last is as a pet. And of course, uh, if you guys would like to join the AQ Gox Tavern Discord, the link will be down in the description below. And... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.